There is a lot going on with buckets, just as there's a lot going on with objects. What I want you to know is that S3 buckets are infrastructure and they hold S3 objects. We're gonna be looking at a lot of stuff here, like the proper way to name our buckets. This is really important as um, in AWS, generally you can name things and they don't have to be unique, but with S3 buckets, they're really strict with the naming. Uh, there's other restrictions and limitations, things we can and can't do with buckets that we need to know. There are multiple bucket types, but generally when we're talking about buckets, we're talking about flat or general purpose buckets. Um, there's the concept of uh, bucket folders. Now, S3 doesn't really provide uh, folders for general purpose buckets, but if we're talking about uh, the directory type, it actually does have folders. So we have to talk about that. There's bucket versioning, um, there's encryption, there is static website hosting. And the other thing I really, really want you to know is that even though S3 is a globally available service, when you go up and look in the top right corner and you see what region it's in, and it says that it's global, the buckets are in a specific region. So they don't exist everywhere. Uh, and I think that's really important to know. But uh, some of these things like bucket versioning is also object versioning. So really it's an object concept, but we might set it at the bucket level. But anyway, we'll get into it. Um, and so we'll cover some bucket stuff up front and then it'll be um, sprinkled all over the place, but let's get into it, okay?